Hey guys, it's May May, and it is time for our regular Stamp of the Month Club reveal. This is the Stamp Club that ships at the first of the month. Well, the first part of the month. This ships out on the sixth of every month. And if you are already a member of that club, this is the one you will get today. Now, that doesn't mean you can't join the club, and it doesn't mean you can't get this stamp set, which, by the way, you're going to want. But besides that, you can still get this one because in the description below, I'm going to leave you a link for how to join the club. And I'm also going to leave you a link for how to purchase this stamp set all by itself. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about the club lately because I don't talk about it. As, I only talk about it on reveal day. So a lot of people have been have they've had a lot of questions about it. So I want to make sure I tell you that there's um, all the information below. But in a nutshell, being a club member means you get a fresh new stamp set every month. It's not a, re a repeat. Um, it comes straight to you without having to ask for it. It is a little less expensive. These are only $11.99 versus our regular $12.99. And this set is not charged any shipping. And I also need to say, if you're international, it's $13.49 for the club. Um, but there's no shipping added to those prices. So a lot of people like that because they know they're getting it every month. And it's super fun. It is a mystery club. So you don't know until this moment. That's why the reveal is so fun. And um, we have two clubs, this one and a scripture club. So I want to make sure I said that. Be sure to look in the description. There's Everything is written out in detail for you on the product page, but so many of you have been asking. And I think it's because a lot of you are talking about gifting the club to people. And by the way, you can. You can do a whole year of the club if you want to do that as a Christmas gift or what have you. So we've had a lot of questions. I wanted to answer it. Okay, I say this every month, but <laughs> I need a new say it. But I'm super excited about this set. And the reason is, number one, it's another, I've spent this year, if you don't know, this has kind of been the year of May May, where I've been doing stamp sets that I wanted in my collection, and I think you guys have enjoyed it too, based on your feedback, and this is another one of those. And the truth of the matter is, if you don't know this about me, I love snowmen. Did you hear that? I love snowmen. And check this out. Let me make sure I have it right. No, I have it upside down again every single time. Ready, set. Here it is. This stamp set is called Snow Buddies. Are you kidding me? Look at these Snow Buddies. They are so cute. So this little guy right here is a snowman. You can see him there. And this is a snow girl. Isn't she cute? And you get two snow birds. This little guy wearing his cute little Santa hat. And him again, smaller, wearing his little Santa hat. So you can use him in different places. Not to mention, did you see this? I know, for real, right? This snow globe is huge. Let me show you the size. Let me bring my ruler over. And I'll tell you why it's huge. We'll talk about that in a second. This guy gives you an opening of almost three inches on the inside. It's incredible. The reason for that is this. If you know me, I like for my stamp sets to kind of work together with each other. And so what Mandy did was she went through and tried some of the stamp sets that we would like to see this worked with, and we think you would too, and made sure that those images would fit inside of here. So just think about all the other stamp sets that you've received from us if you're a club member or that you've purchased using them with this snow globe. Uh, amazing. I got several things to show you. One is this. I made one sample this time, but I filmed the process. So I'm going to put some music to it and I'm going to play that for you in just a little bit and let you watch the process of that. The second thing I want to do is I want to talk to you about this stamp right here. Before we go on, this says Snowbody Like You, Snowbody Warms My Heart Like You, and Snow Buddies, right? Okay, so let me open this for a second and show you something I think is important for you to know with this stamp set. Okay, so I have learned over my years of making stamp sets that if I don't give you this extra, what I call bleed in the middle, do you see this extra space in there for this stamp? Let me pull this off. Do you see how it's got that extra space and the line doesn't go directly to the edge? I have learned that if I make this center section go directly to the edge, then you will get Sometimes your stamp will be a little off kilter. So let me show you this. When you go to put this on your block, drop it onto your work surface and let it do its thing, okay? That guy right there is gonna get its own shape if you'll do it that way and you won't fight to get that circle. This extra material in there does that. So then I'm gonna place my little block on it and pick it up. And now I can stamp it and know I'm gonna get a good shape. It's interesting, some of you guys like to know this stuff, but nor, you know, I could put a whole bunch of images inside the circle, but if I did that and I took that space away, you would have a hard time putting it on your block. So when you load this guy up on a block, lay him on your work surface and pick him up and you know that your circle will be right. Also, 
He is not a perfect circle. He's a little squished. He just looked better that way. When we were using him, he just looked better not being a perfect circle. So you'll notice that too. And then of course, these guys fit inside and also other things. Let me show you my sample. Oh, there was another thing I wanted to show you, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'll show you that in the video. So I, you'll notice in my sample that I mask off his little arm right here. When you mask off his little arm, you can then nestle these guys together and you can also change out his arm if you want this stick because we thought you might like this longer stick here to put the bigger bird on. So lots of things you can do. Let me show you my sample. So this is how my sample turned out. I love this guy. I want to show you all of the crystal glaze. Look at it. There it is. Look at all that crystal glaze. I covered this whole globe in crystal glaze. And honestly, it did not take that much. I was surprised. I did have to let it sit overnight to dry because I wanted to make sure it was good and solid. And it is. So here's my little sample doing uh, using our snow buddy, snow buddy set. So I'm going to head out and let you watch me create it. And then we'll come back and talk about it in just a second. So for one of my samples, I'm going to nestle my two little snow people together. I wanna to show you how I'm gonna do it. So I'm going to tape off his little arm right here. Just his little arm, it's really all I don't need. There might be a little snow I need to do in a minute, but for now, I'm gonna do his little arm and I'm gonna ink him up. Now, I have a habit when I tape something off like that of not doing a good job of inking my stamp. <laughs> So you want to make sure that even though you have that taped off, you still ink your whole stamp. Don't try to avoid it. I have this habit of doing that, and then I don't get a good stamped image. All right, so I'm going to bring this little snow globe over, and I want to put the snow sort of, sort of to the bottom here. And I'm going to stamp him where he just fits. And remember, that one arm is not going to stamp because I didn't ink it. There he is. He's so cute. So you can see he doesn't have that arm. That's good. That's what we want. Then what we're going to do is take our little girl... And before I stamp her, I'm just going to check. I'm going to do her about here, and she'll overlap a little bit. Um, just at the bottom, just her hand and her snow will overlap a little bit, but she'll be perfect. You won't have to do any more masking. That's how easy it is. You do want to pay attention um, to how you ink her. Make sure you get her good and inked. And then you want to kind of just watch. I'm going to let their snow overlap each other. Just stamp her right next to him, just like that. And that's all the masking you have to do to get them close together. Isn't that great? There's snow overlaps, but it doesn't really matter that it does. Um, but getting them close together like that is that easy, just taking that little arm off. And also, on the stamp set, you might have noticed this arm. We gave you that because you can also mask off his arm the same way. Stamp this one here, and then this little bird or the present can sit on it. We thought that would be cute. The present can sit on his regular arm, but we thought it'd be cute if you wanted to extend it out. So there they are. They just need to be colored and put on a card.
go, how I made this little card. Now you are getting only one sample this week, but it's because I put a lot more time into this one sample versus making three, because this one took me even overnight to let this guy dry, but I think he turned out cute. Another reason I'm not doing more samples this time is because if you don't know this already, we're getting ready for our open house. So I've been doing samples for open house, but this globe, now that you guys have seen it, <laughs> I'm gonna be able to show it to you in lots of different forms. So be watching, because I wanna show you all the things that'll work in here. As a matter of fact, we may spend some of our time Thursday on our live show looking at what all fits in here and how you'll be able to use it in your card making. So that is your set for this month and I have disassembled it, but it looks like this. That is your Snow Buddy set and I'm so excited for you to get it. Now, as you know, with every Stamp Club set we release, we do a giveaway. So all you have to do when you receive this is make a project with it, take a photo, Upload that photo to our customer gallery at maymaymadeit.com. And when you do that, that is your entry to win a $50 gift card. That means I have a giveaway for you this week as well, or this time as well. But as you know, I filmed these before the contest is over. So the winner's name will be in the description below. And we will all also email you to let you know if you won last month's um, giveaway. So there it is, Snow Buddies. I love it very much. I'm so about these snowmen. I think they're so cute. I cannot wait to see how y'all color them and how you use them because y'all always rock them. That. If you need inspiration for stamping, head to our customer gallery. There are over 2,000 projects posted there for you to be inspired by, by all of you guys that are watching today, and it is amazing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of our club. I cannot wait for you guys to get this in the mail so I can start to see what all you're doing with it. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye.